This is the plaintiff, Soren Podgorenu. He says he rented office space from the defendant on a month-to-month basis, and the guy wanted to show it to other tenants while he and his employees were in the office using it. It was very unprofessional. He decided to move out. Now the defendant won't return his security, claiming he caused damages. Ha, what a joke, and what a crook. He's suing for $1,110.40, the amount the defendant withheld. This is the defendant, Alexander Haber. He says he allowed the plaintiff to rent month to month, provided he gave him 30 days notice upon vacating. He also told him he would be showing it to other prospective tenants. The plaintiff then moved out 10 days early, didn't give him notice, and the guy's lucky he returned even a portion of his security because he could have kept it all. He's accused of keeping too much money. All parties, please use your right hand. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff rented office space from the defendant, and the defendant wanted to show the space to other prospective tenants while the plaintiff was working. The defendant says the plaintiff was renting month to month and made it clear other prospective tenants would be looking. It's the case of no office space. Okay, Soren Pod, you do it. Podgorano. Podgorano. So business was booming, right? Correct. And you decide that you're gonna expand. Correct. Um, where was your business originally? In the Bronx, New York. All right, what do you do? Uh, glass, we do like storefronts, hair collide doors. All right, so you found myself. a venue in where? where? What location is that? We, uh, Woodland Park. Woodland Park. Which is where? New uh, Jersey. Okay, and you are concerned about committing to the place for long term because you want to see how it's going to go, Correct. right? Correct, we wanted just to make sure that, that, that we are not going to sign a lease for a whole year if we we're unsure if the part of New Jersey side, it would have actually worked sure. or not. So we just wanted so to- So you agree with them and you move in and you open up for business and how does it go? We moved in. We didn't have an issue with- When any, did you move in? Somewhere around November 5th, I believe. Okay, go on. Um, we moved in, everything was perfectly fine. Um, we started getting the entire reason why we wanted to leave at one point was because we were getting phone calls from him um, um, saying that he will bring people to show in the office while we were still there. Um, the only thing that we had, we had no issue with him bringing people so he can show the office with, uh, but after we were gone from the okay, office. Okay, but what was the agreement? Did you guys have a written lease for the month to month? We had a lease. Okay, from and what a month did the lease say about how and when um, him showing it would be limited to? So he had on, Never on the lease I've seen that he had the right to bring people in. Did you see on the lease that he didn't have the right to bring people in? No. Right. Can I see the lease? Can I, I see? I do not have the lease. Uh, you don't have the lease? It no. was, Can I no. see? The, who's I the have, lady shouting out answers? Who's that? No, uh, there's the person that worked in the office and she was What there is her relationship to you? Every day. We work together. Okay. What is her religion to you every day? <laughs> uh, are, but are you two boyfriend, girlfriend, or uh, anything? No, man. No. Okay. Go ahead, and, go ahead and come on up. Um, all right. Landlord and any fee mortgagee and any lessor under any ground or underlying lease and their respective representatives may enter, lawyers, geez, may <laughs> enter the premises at all times for the purpose of responding to emergency situations, inspection, making repairs or placements or improvements, performing other obligations of landlord or tenant pursuant to this lease, during the period commencing 12 months prior to the end of the term for the purpose of exhibiting the same to prospective tenants. So that's pretty broad. I mean, you know. We didn't have a Now, I, even though it's broad, um, you know, how often was he coming in? No, no, no. He actually never did. When he said that he was going to start doing it, I was like, okay, so we're going to go ahead and give you notice. We're going to be leaving. Oh, so he never brought anybody there? No, once he said that he was going, we actually made that amendment Wait, I'm there sorry. As well. So I'm very confused. Did he ever bring no. anybody to look? no. He okay, so why would you why would you object? Okay, when you gave him notice, it was the tenth of the month, right? Correct. And you were renting from the first to the thirtieth. So you give him notice on the tenth, and uh, well, we don't want you walking in. And according to you, it's kind of nasty, right? How does it happen? No, it, it well, it was a little nasty if you look at the text messages. It wasn't like you know fun, but again, they they refuse entry. Well, uh, well, what, how is it nasty? Let's uh, look at the text messages. I mean. 
I have someone coming at 10 a.m. Wednesday to look at your space, and this is on Monday, December 10th. Mm -hmm. And then someone says, sir, those are our business hours. You can show on weekends when it won't disrupt my work. Thank you. Who's that, you? Yes. OK. And he has put you in his phone book under don't pick up. <laughs> that is literally the name he has for you there. Why? Had you had a problem with her? I, you know, afterwards, I get harassing calls constantly from her. Uh, and what were the, according to you, harassing? Uh, no, it wasn't harassing. It just wasn't friendly. She's just demanding that I show it on weekends. And you know, in commercial space, people work nine to five. They see space during nine to nine five. Nine to five. It's, yeah. OK, so, so then he writes, yes, I need security. I explained that to you when you lease the space that I will keep showing it. Businesses look at space during business hours. And don't pick up response. <laughs> I do not care, sir. You will not show when I'm in the office. This is the assistant talking. I'm not Soren. You can and will only show when I'm not there. End of story, sir. Who do you think you are? <laughs> uh, to which he says, your lease states I can enter the space whenever I want. So you can either let me in or you will be evicted. I'll be putting the eviction into court tomorrow morning. To which you respond, good luck with that. And then you come in. I believe so, yes. Uh, kind of the voice of reason. It's totally fine, Alex. Take this as notice. This will be our last month. So now you give notice. And um, the notice is in the middle of the month. Um, so appropriate notice is at the beginning of the month. And so when you give notice in the middle of the month, it's not 30 days then till the 10th. It's the rest of this month and 30 and then, days, right? You know how the math works. Yes. That's why we don't snap at the landlord like that. That's not the best practice. So can a landlord show uh, to prospective tenants while the other tenant is in the in the house? I mean, I would say, yeah, with a little bit of notice, then they definitely can. Can they? Yeah, I would agree. They should have like a 24-hour notice beforehand. I have a feeling you're actually right, but you guessed that one going inside the courtroom. So what ends up happening, though? The security deposit was how much? 1500 uh, 1500 But And the rent was how much? Uh, 750 OK. Um, and so what did you deduct from the security deposit? Uh, $110.40 for utilities that they never paid. $110.40 for utilities they never paid. Do you have the utility bill? No, I don't have that. OK, how are you going to prove that in court? My Why point. don't you have it? That's so simple. Yeah, I know. I, 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 I slipped up on it. So, so you, uh, $110.40 for that. And what else did you deduct? Um, $750 for paint. 750 for paint. Yeah, to paint the office, repaint back on paint. Okay. okay. I need to see proof that it was required after a month to respackle and paint the entire office. We also have a video of the entire office. I have the bill, but I don't have the um, the photos. All right, give me what you do have. So you have no pictures to prove that it needed painting. Why did it need painting? Because of th Just stuff holes. hung they, in the they walls. They hung paintings on the wall. You know, when you refresh an office, you have to spackle paint to get the new tenant in. But do you have to, can't you just spackle and paint the, the holes? I, I mean, you know, it's not going to match and stuff like that. I mean, usually we just come in and do the whole shot. Hadn't you just painted then a month earlier? We had painted like a month so and then a half earlier. So then it is going to match. In. All right, can I see your video? Sure. Take it. I got to tell you, he's showing me pretty slow video of the wall, and I don't see holes. There are only two holes that I we mean, had a... Holes will be smaller. There were two holes. OK. What else did you deduct for? Uh, I gave him 10 days prorate. So from the 10th to the 10th of January. Okay. So I charged him the 10 days, which was roughly, I guess, uh, Two hundred and fifty dollars. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, there's a service fee of one hundred and twenty-five dollars for having to meet contractors and billing and stuff like that. What's a service fee of a hundred? Where's that in the lease? It's uh, it's in the move-out document. It says what now? It says that basically, like if we have to meet a contractor to go paint a space because of of damage you did. Right. We charge. Except for that, like I see two holes. That's the only evidence here, so you're okay. not going to get that either. But what else did you deduct for? Uh, that that was it. All right. So the utility you didn't bring. So you're unable to prove to me, and I, and, which is a shame, because I would absolutely grant that to you. The uh, prorated rent, I believe you are absolutely entitled to. The paint, I do not believe that two holes require you to paint the entire thing. 
Did he send you a check of any kind? Uh, yes, ma'am. He sent me a money order. For how much? Um, $389.60. You know, the thing is, he's actually entitled to a full $750 on the rent. Did you end up re-renting it in the uh, middle yes, of the I month? Did. No, no, I didn't rent it until the end of January. So it was vacant the whole month? It was, yeah. He is entitled to a full $750, particularly in light of the fact that he wasn't even able to re-rent it for that month. It's not like you can pick a middle of a month and then say you have 30 days from today. It's not how it works. It has to start in the beginning of a cycle. So if you announce in the middle of a month, then the 30 days runs from the next time we have a period, which means that if it started, in, if it was December 10th, then it's actually January 31st that you move out. Did you end up finding another location in the same area or no? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, not too far from. So silly. All of this is so silly. Everybody having to pack up, move up, all because, you know. OK. I rule that he is allowed to keep only $750. He has already um, conveyed $389.60. Uh, I find that there are no damages. He's not entitled to the utilities because they didn't bring me proof of them. So I find that he must pay you the remainder to reach up to the $750 that you should have been returned. So I'm finding in the favor of the plaintiff in the amount of $360.40, which when combined to the $389 will make the $750 you're entitled to. That is my verdict. Good luck, folks. Thank you. So the defendant will have to give some money back to the, the plaintiffs. How do you feel about that, Mr. Abram? I mean, it happens, you know. It's not a really big deal. I mean, I feel like I should have gotten the whole 1500 because, you know, they didn't give the 30-day notice. Yeah. And, uh, you know. But, hey, you know, you win some, you lose some. It, you split it down the middle. If both people leave unhappy, I guess it's a fair deal, right? Okay. Good yeah. enough. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. I'm going to sign some documents. Here come the plaintiffs now, or the plaintiff is on his way out of the courtroom. You okay with this now? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Uh, I wish we had worked out better. And we, yeah. we actually wish we could have stayed in the office. You like the office? Is it a yes, good office? Yes, yes, yes. Very good. But it is where it is. Are you okay where you are now? We move on. Yeah. Yeah, good. we absolutely are. All right. Well, congratulations. Good Thank luck you. to you. Thank okay. you. Thank you. All right, Harvey. So generally, a landlord has a right to show to prospective tenants, he's right, you have to give notice, and usually it's 24 hours.